Hello and welcome back. This is Space Engineers Permadeath Survival, and you're with me, Cy Prime, for episode 27. That sounded a bit ridiculous, but we're going with that intro. Uh, right, so anyway, last time we managed to get a couple of markers up into space above our. Um, that's a silver asteroid. That's the ice asteroid. That's one of the markers that's up above that base. That freaked me out a little bit. And we have another marker there, above that base. They're probably not completely perfect though, because we have a little bit of trouble guaranteeing that our craft was level when we used our camera to sort of sightline these. So I've got a little bit of an idea that might just be crazy enough to actually work. So uh, thanks to one of our viewers who uh, gave a little idea. GPS marking the center of the planet and using that as a line of sight thing so that we might we line up the bases uh, marker with the center of the planet marker and that will give us exactly above which is absolutely correct I mean simple trigonometry really so I think we're going to try and mark up the center of the planet now there are coordinates available I think if i remember correctly this is a vanilla uh, solar system so i could just use them i don't want to do that um i would like to discover those coordinates for myself and not be all cheaty um you know we're trying to keep this as hard as possible and also al along with that we're going to put a few extra thrusters on here because we've got some extra points that we can use for additional thrusters i may add um, I'm wondering if I add any additional fuel tanks on here. I think maybe not. Um, I think we have enough as it is. But yeah, we could put some additional mavs on here. Um, in fact, we're going to very quickly do that now, I think. Um, we'll go small ones. So one, two, and that's enough to get this thing going forward nice and slowly. Now, how are we going to do the whole center of the planet thing? My thoughts are that we build a drilling rig. That would just use gravity to go straight down. No thrusters, nothing special. We just let it keep going straight down. And when it gets to the center of the planet, it's going to stop. It's going to stop going down and it's going to want to go back to the center. So wherever it stops will be the exact center. And we can just use the um, GPS point for that location. We can use the remote control to the GPS where, the, where its remote control is. All we have to do is have an antenna range that's long enough to go straight down to the center. Now, 50 kilometers should be more than enough, so we definitely have ample antenna range for that. So I am kind of relying on that a remote control can be used to get a GPS point. Now, there's a way I can test that. The wiki does say it's possible. Right, that's off. Now it's on. We've got a... Yeah, we've got our space hopper marker right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand over here. I'm going to remote access the space hopper and hit control. So I'm just going to go slash GPS here. And exit out of the remote. That works absolutely perfectly. So we can GPS using remote control and it will GPS the exact location of the remote control itself. Uh, right, so what we need to do is we need to create some kind of a droppable thing. Um, and then we need to put it somewhere where we don't mind making a big, like, infinitely deep hole. Right, where am I going to anchor off for this? Uh, what do we need to consider for this? Let's, let's have a thing. And it's stormy weather. What kind of storms, I wonder? Okay, we'll just put that there for now. Uh, we'll take off that. Add a small head. Let's just weld that up for a bit of completeness. Okay, great. So. This needs to be just the simplest thing in the world. It's going to need a remote control, so we will be able to control it anyway. Um, I'm just going to get a few armor blocks just so I can build a little bit of a spur off this to make things a little bit easier. Let's make this nice and long. There was plenty of clearance. 
This is why I put this hinge the way I did. I'm going to put the lock on. Let's give it a ton of braking torque just in case. Is that the right size of battery? Yeah, you'll do. Right, so one of them. Um, how many batteries do we think we need for this? I think we need a lot. So what I might do is do a grid of four like this. And then the same to the side. So. Yeah. Bank of four batteries just to make sure it's got the longevity that it's going to need. And then on the bottom of that, I'm going to need the drills. Okay, they don't need to collect any materials. In fact, we do not want them to collect any materials. Uh, it takes up the entire battery's worth of space. So I'm just going to put them like that. Right, on top we need a few items. We need a remote control. So we'll put the remote like that. We'll put an antenna next to it. I need parts for the antenna. Now this is by no means a guide on how to do this. Um, you can sort of copy me if you want. But honestly, you could probably do better. And I have no idea if this is going to work, so maybe finish watching this before you try it. Find out for reals if it's actually going to happen. Um, Right, let's build our antenna first. Right, so we're gonna... Oh, four of them for now. So that's the last battery going in. Always weld the batteries up as close as you can to the beginning of the build, because even if you have to do loads of other stuff, these can be charging while we wait, so... I'm actually going to put these on to recharge. Now if I just dropped that as it is, it would probably go straight down. But what will probably happen is occasionally a corner will catch something and it will sort of skew off a little bit to one side and start drawing a slope. It will eventually make its way down but it may miss the middle. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of an interesting one. Uh, what I could do, I could put more drills around just to sort of go a bit wider than the whole thing. So most of it's drills. In fact, I'm probably actually going to do that. I think that works well. Yeah. So that's two, four, six, eight. We don't, and the beauty about this is I don't have to worry about the weight. The mass of this vehicle is not going to matter because all it has to do is go down. I don't want to bring it back. I'm not interested in bringing it back. So yeah, like the centre of the planet should in theory be a zero G point. Just a zero G of space because all of the mass that's pulling you is everywhere around you instead of under you. However, if you move away from the center at all the gravity will pull you back to the center so it will probably like do a thing where it comes in towards the center slows drifts a little bit past the center goes like that and it'll oscillate for a while until it stops at the dead center of the planet hey this is a really quick janky little build i like them they're always fun because like, you're not putting much at risk. It's like, it just is what it is. Um, I wonder if it's safe to potentially remove one of these drills and pop a camera on the bottom. I don't think it's necessary though. Uh, right, is there anything I need to do to shore this up a little bit more? Uh, I think maybe if we pop like a couple of blocks in there. Um, these ones can be like slopes. 
those could potentially have been slopes actually but I can't cut them off right now um, I think most of what I'm doing here is just pointless but I'm going to do it anyway because why the hell not now we're not going to know 100% for sure that it's made it to the actual centre um Meteor storm inbound. I mean, what we could potentially do is use one of our respawn clones to jump in the hole and see where we end up. It would be a long journey down. And if we end up in like a... I don't think, yeah, we'd just die at the other side, so we wouldn't actually ever know if it was zero G. They're coming from the other side of that building there. I can't see them coming in. Okay, never mind. Right, so we have our antenna, we have our remote control. All wonderful. Uh, we next need to increase the antenna's range before we end up launching this thing. Um, that is not the antenna. There's the antenna. So, broadcast radius. Whack it all the way up. This is potentially a big planet, so... Enemy might see us, but I don't care. Uh, we're just going to name the antenna. Uh, we're going to call this... Jules. As in, Jules Verne, journey to the centre of the Earth. For those that haven't made that connection. If you haven't, shame on you. You should have done. Right, what else do we need on here? Um... A camera potentially could be useful for diagnostics. So, what I will do is I will slip a camera pointing up. Um, I think that would be enough to give us our orientation versus the rest of the hole. I don't think any other direction is going to be useful. And I really don't want to waste any energy on um, lights and things. It's so simple a build that I honestly don't think there's much scope for like making it look fancy. And we're going to lose it in a minute anyway, because once we said that you're going down, there's no way to bring it back. All I need to do now is cut this off. Uh, it's just going to fall flat. There we go. We want it dead flat. This ground's not exactly perfectly level, but it should level out as soon as it starts drilling. Um, okay. Okay. Gravity will correct any tilt on that. Absolutely for sure. Right, all the batteries need to be turned on. Now we can see the antenna, it's got a 50 kilometer range on it. We'll eventually have to turn up our antenna there to match it. Batteries have just gone just below 100%. I'm hoping they don't all run out. So let's get this going before we actually run out of time here. So we're going to remote access this thing, go to Jules terminal mainly. Jules drills, I'm going to turn them on. Should start to straighten out. There we go. It's leveling itself out a bit. Even if it goes down at a funny angle, there's only one way it can really travel, and that's down as far as gravity is concerned in a straight line. Just let that go. Okay, while we're waiting for that, what we need to do is start working on. Let's turn these things back off like that. Right. We need to start working on this because 
that's going to get annoying. Um, because, yeah, we keep walking around like here and I, I, there's a risk of me falling down. So we need to sort of complete this area. Um, that's the main lift door. We're going to sort of build all of this up at some point. But I need to put the glass on at least around here. So... Right, and then we need to do the top of here. And we're going to do it a similar way to the way we did last time. Um, we can't use 2x3 on top like we did last time though. So we're going to have to go one by ones Or we just build it solid. Uh, maybe we just build it solid on this particular model. Um, with a slope, possibly. I'm going to need a slope to get up there. 2, 3, maybe 4, okay. Now it's going to need a lid on it. Energy critical. We have to get our energy back. All right, that thing is 133 meters away right now. Right, so we need a lid on the top of this. Um, trying to think of the best way to go about it. We could probably do it building out from there straight across the top with proper blocks because it's a bit more protective um however no there's no however i think we just do that now, this is already kind of giving a good idea Ooh. okay I'll catch that later <laughs> we're gonna have to go on top to weld it do, 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 do. There we go. Alright, do we... Yeah, I think we go up the stairs and do it properly so we don't end up killing ourselves in the process. Uh, let's get a ton of those. Yeah, we're just going to let our little drill thing do its thing and if we need to intercede, we may try doing some right-click drilling to speed it up. But only when we've not got a lot else to do, because we may as well be getting on with things around here. I could probably do with running a paint gun around the building as well. Right, why did I go all the way up this way? Okay. So a quick way down to these. So I totally did that wrong. Oh, nine. Okay, that's not too bad. Could have been worse. Right, so let's weld up where I can. I could possibly reach that to get materials. I'll do. Right, do we put a window on there? I think we could. Make sure that's on my bar. I mean, the amount of glass actually in that does make it quite well protected. I could also double layer this. So what I could do, just to tidy this up a little bit more, is... Oh no, because they're half blocks. No, I can't. Never mind. Okay, I can actually jump back up there to get back in, but I don't need to. I mean, no, that might be a bit far, actually. Right, so that's now sealed in completely. Um, quite happy with that. So we are... Yeah, we're just going to come back down this way. That was lucky. <laughs> uh, we'll cut through here.
I need uh, stairs or something on here, so I think we'll do that now. Okay. So the hub building is coming along. I would not by any means call it finished. Energy low. I mean, this still needs an outer wall because this is just the inner like chamber, the lift. Um, so we need some sort of door on here, outer wall here, door there. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just get those done really quickly now. I'm, I'm liking these doors for this bit. Actually, no, I don't want that door. I want that door. We'll put it that way for sure. And we'll put this this way. That corner's just lost. That's not a problem. Um, in fact... Um, let's put that there like that. And that there like that like they would be. Um, I think... The most sensible place to actually put a door in this case... To, to airlock this properly and efficiently... Is going to be there. And then what we do is we panel off. Yeah, we don't need to cost an extra space there. We just do it like that. And then if I can put a ramp here, get up for a moment. And what I could do is, first of all, put our blocks like this uh, there and here we we'll just uh, slope it off a bit oopsie just so it's a bit less dramatic I think that is a decent airlock because we've got one door to the inside but then we've got two doors to the outside um, and that basically covers it Right, let's get these doors on our things so we can get them dealt with first. Energy critical. Yep, yep. Critical energy. Uh, how's our jewels? Is half a kilometre away. It's making nice progress, and it looks like it is going pretty much straight down. I mean, from, as it gets, like, if I stand right here, it will be a straight line straight down to it. But as I get further away, the closer it gets to the centre, the more straight down it is going to be. And we'll be going to be able to verify its location by moving a bit away, like, possibly a couple of kilometres over in that direction, use this to do it. Um, place a block down using, like, gravity align. So if I press B, gravity align mode. So we build a little structure, like a little arch. And in the center of that, we put a camera down and zoom straight in. And Jules should be right slap bang in the middle. I'm liking that we can have those on the inside. Okay, so that's our airlocky bit. Which is great. I'm going to leave that open because I need that through route. Uh, we are going to need to pipe in some air from here. So, one of these, somewhere around here, these blocks are conveyor ports. So, what I could do, I think the conveyor ports go... Where did we put the edge of the thing? It's probably there, actually. I'm just going to do it so, so it's see-through. It was one over, so it's yeah, it's directly under there. So what I can do right here, actually we've got uh, uh, we've got a use for that. Nice. Um, I'm gonna actually loop back a pipe going up. We'll cap off the sides we don't need. Yeah, we can put some like we can use it. And then any side we don't use, we'll cap it off. 
So it looks neat. Alright, let's go back up to three. Okay, and now here, I'm going to put a vent. Now again, I know we're on per tan, we don't absolutely need to have oxygen, but I do like to have these areas habitable so I don't have to worry about my oxygen levels or having to close my visor whenever a storm rolls in or the temperature gets too hot or anything like that. Consider it air conditioning. And this does work through those grates. How's Vern? How's Jules going? 600 meters. Are we still going? Perfect. Do I want to put the windows on the outside so I don't lose that space? I think I do, actually. So to do that, we have to put some panels on the outside. Oh, will you go? Will you go? Yes, you will. Ah, there we go. Right, so now the question is, can I place something like that on the... No, I really clearly can't. Um, so some of these... Well, all of these, to be honest. I kind of have to be something different. Something like that. I think it looks quite tidy, that. Serves the same purpose. I can still just about walk up it. Although that won't be necessary very soon. Because the entrance is on that side. I know we could have a front door and a back door. We're just not going to do that. I mean, there isn't really much room for privacy in this part of the building. But that's fine. Downstairs we have loads of room for that. And I think we can use some of the inset blocks downstairs to make more, make more use of the space without compromising on things like air tightness, um, walkways and all of the other considerations we have to have. Right. This is going to be a lot of work walking back and forth. I will come back to you when this bit's done. Okay, so that's all of our windows done. Um, got it all nicely lined up. I think, it, yeah, I think the pattern works quite well. I should have probably done them like... Actually, no, I don't think I wanted to interrupt the view. There's enough dirtiness around the side to remember that I can't run into that. Um, we just need to weld up a few bits here, put that little bit of wall in, and then we are good to go. So I'm just going to grab some steel plate, get those done. Uh, at some point, we will have to definitely complete the actual shaft, the actual elevator shaft bottom. Talking about a lot of shafts and bottoms and things here, but um, no energy. Ah, but yeah. If I don't do that, then we're going to come a bit unstuck because the uh, as an elevator door opens because you're on that floor, it's going to stay open while you spend most of your time on that floor. Now, unless I make it a bit more complicated and have it close the elevator door after a short period of time. It's not going to really do much for air tightness in that entire floor that you're on. Now, I don't really want to double airlock these uh, elevators. They're, they're there for convenience and that's going to make it more difficult. Um, so we're going to have to do the uh, rest of the construction in the bottom of the elevator shaft. But we're not going to do that today because I feel like we've done enough welding up as it is once we've done all this. Just for this one occasion. Right, that should now be airtight. Oh, apart from the elevator door, of course. Maybe that bit? Oh, and all of this. Yeah, perfect. I'm not going to let it spend time refueling that because it's like kind of pointless to fill the space up right now. Um, and it's just going to use up a lot of, like, no, the oxygen's free, actually. It'll just pull it from the outside, but it is, it is a waste of time. Okay. So this area is now constructed. 
Um, our risk of falling down the shaft when the elevator is further down, say after a ship launch or something, uh, and return, is vastly reduced unless I accidentally stumble through the closed door here. Because um, when that's not on this floor, that door is shut. Let's close our excess doors here just to smarten things up a little bit. And how's Jules doing right now? Okay, nearly a kilometre down, still going. I don't think range really is an issue in this case. Um, in fact, the further down it goes, the less chance it's going to actually jiggle around and start creating a weird hole. Um, it is looking like it's going straight down. Let's do something kind of fancy here. We'll put this in here temporarily. Uh, let's put a little ramp on the end just to make it a little more accessible on each side. I kind of want to put something around this anyway just to block it off, but for now this will do. We just have to be careful with our rover. So Jules should be, if I wish for this, which one would be the centre one? Um, one, two, and a half. So it'd be kind of like there. Yeah, it's going pretty much dead on straight down. So if it starts wandering off, then we know it's gone off on a bit of a journey, but it, hopefully it should return back. Bang on one kilometre. Lovely. Now I can still fall down that. I don't want that to even be remotely a possibility because sometimes when I'm walking around, I'm not looking where I'm going. Sometimes walking backwards. Um, so we're just gonna make this impossible to fall in. Because, you know, this is me, and I'm an idiot, sometimes. I will caveat that with the word sometimes. Right, uh, can I fall down there? Nope. But I am going to put another block there just to make it look a bit tidier. What the hell? What the hell? Let's make it a square. We can't, that's not going to be permanent because it's going to get in the way of the rover. We are probably going to just like build this out a little bit and put a window over that hole or something as a monument and leave jewels down there. Although the battery will run out eventually. Now that's one thing I am a bit concerned about. How's the battery going to go on this thing? Um, let's have a look at its battery um, strength right now. Uh, fully depleted in one whole day. So it's got an entire 24 hours to go down. Um, that's a lot more than one in-game day. That's a lot more than one episode. So I don't think it's going to run out of battery before it gets to the center. Okay, so this is where we're going to leave it. Uh, just for this episode. This is supposed to be a short one. It's probably overrun a little bit. We're at 1 hour 26 recorded right now. I think that's long enough for now. Let's go down to one so we can just park ourselves on a bench. We're going to actually start putting some proper hab stuff in here sooner or later. So if you're new to the channel, drop a subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And uh, if you've been here for a while, look forward to seeing you in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.